warm greetings to you all. I'm Lieutenant Dr. Ajanta Partha Sharadi, Associate NCC Officer of Stiyasaranam College, Satak Tamil Nadu. I'm serving under two girls battalion NCC Madurai. This video is about the introduction of yoga and the exercises. The word yoga is derived from the Sanskrit root word yuj, which means to join, to yoke, and to unite. As per yogic scriptures, the practice of yoga leads to the union of individual consciousness with that of the universal consciousness. It is indicating a perfect harmony between the mind and body, man and nature. The pre-philosophical speculations and the diverse ascetic practices of 1st millennium BC were systemized into a formal philosophy in early centuries AD by the Yoga Sutras of Padanjali. By the turn of the 1st millennium, Hatha Yoga emerged as a prominent tradition of yoga distinct from the Padanjali's Yoga Sutras. Why? The Yoga Sutras focus on the discipline of the mind. Hatha Yoga concentrates on health and the purity of the body. Hindu monks, beginning with Swami Vivekananda, brought yoga to the West in the late 19th century. In the 1980s, yoga became popular as a physical system of health exercises across the Western world. Many studies have tried to determine the effectiveness of yoga as a complementary intervention for cancer, asthma, and heart patients. Now let's see the purpose of yoga. Generally, yoga is a disciplined method utilized for attaining a goal. In this sense, the purpose of yoga depends on the philosophical or theological system with which it is conjugated. In Shaiva theology, yoga is used to unite Kundalini with Shiva. Mahabharata defines the purpose of yoga as the experience of Brahman or Atman pervading all things. In contemporary times, the physical portions of yoga are used to alleviate health problems, reduce stress, and make the spine supple. It is also used as a complete exercise program and a physical therapy routine. There are innumerable asanas for curing ailments and maintain good health. One of our cadets has demonstrated a few asanas for you. Bhatmashna, which is otherwise known as lotus position. It is a cross-legged sitting meditation pose from ancient India in which each foot is placed on the opposite thigh. This asana, asana helps to cure diseases like asthma, hysteria, and insomnia. The next comes Padabhatmasana. It is also known as locked lotus pose. This asana improves nervous system and the abdomen. It also cures drowsiness, sleepiness, laziness, and a night discharge. Siddhasana, commonly known as the accomplished pose, is a sitting asana that is great for practitioners of meditation who hold it in a very high regard. The main function of the asana is to awaken the power of Kundalini. This asana helps the mind to be firm, attentive, and alert. Next comes Chakrasana. Otherwise known as wheel pose, the chest expands and the lungs get more oxygen. This makes the pose especially beneficial for Atma patients. It reduces the stress and tension in the body. 
it sharpens eyesight this asana helps to strengthen the back and increases the elasticity elasticity of the spine yoga is a time tested well researched form of exercise having deep religious and medical overtones the deep and positive effects of yoga on the body and mind of a practitioner can be felt better by doing it under a trained teacher once a person initiates himself into the medico spiritual world of yoga it is difficult for him to detach himself from it thank you